Good morning. I am wearing my new little thrifted sweater I showed you guys yesterday. My little grandma sweater. I'm obsessed. I love it. And now I am getting ready to go uh, run some errands. This is my little affirmation for the day. Uh, run some errands to go get some home decor. So I'm going to go to Home Goods and look to see if they have a rug for underneath our bed. And then I'm also gonna see if they have, well, not at Home Goods, but I'm also gonna stop by the thrift store to see if they have a dining room table. And we're supposed to be getting our couch this week, which is exciting. And then what else do I need to get? Oh, I need to get mats. We're gonna return these because you guys all told me to return them. So we're gonna look for mats for here and I'm trying to think of the other things. I have a whole list, so that's what we're doing today. We'll check on the babies. Hi, little babies. Oh, look what is starting to sprout. There's one little one that is starting right there of the butternut squash. But look, the cucamelon sprouted and the onions and definitely a lot of activity going on. So I'm excited. <laughs> All right, we're back home. We did a massive shopping haul. So I'm gonna show you what we got. We're gonna kind of just do a home decor unboxing. And we got some Amazon packages to unbox, but we got a bunch of stuff from the stores. The kids got toys from the thrift store and also a new little outfit each. And then we got some home decor stuff. So I'm, and we went to a bunch of different places. We also went to Walmart to get some groceries. So I'm gonna show you kind of what we got. Let's do like a massive unboxing, groceries, home decor. Here we go. All right, here we go. By the way, a little outfit of the day. You need batteries? batteries. He got this from the thrift store in this cool fire truck. Okay, so the first thing that we got is this, oh, it's really heavy, Casa Luna mattress topper from Target. I think it was like $180. It's a three inch. We got the smaller one, but it just, I don't know, we like a squishy soft bed, so I'm hoping that this kind of helps with that. Some rugs, because if you guys know the rug debacle from Amazon. I bought rugs that were just like ridiculously expensive and not that nice. So I went to Target and got this one, which I don't know, I think it's nicer. And we will put this one by the garage door. And then I also got this one. These are all from Target. They're just like way bigger and will fit the space better. So not too exciting, but you know, rugs, stuff you need. All right, now let's get to the more exciting stuff. Home goods. Actually, hold on, I still got more stuff from Target. Let me show you. I got this fruit basket, $26. I don't usually buy things new, but I've been looking for a fruit basket and really couldn't find one. So I ended up, I say splurging, because for me, I'm very frugal. So it's kind of like a splurge for me to spend $26 on a freaking wire fruit basket but it is really pretty and I know it will last forever. So got that and then also I saw these and I kind of had to have them multiple uses. Look how beautiful these are. This is the Hearth and Home brand from Target. These were, can you check her, $11.99 for a pack of four. And uh, I could use them for like covering up when we're baking, you know, for the bread to rise. Also just to wash our dry our hands off to dry dishes. And I just really like the way they look. They make me happy, they bring me joy. So we got those. So that was our little Target haul. And then from Home Goods, I don't know if we're gonna end up using these or not, but I saw these and fell in love with them. They are, they were $29.99. But like, look at how beautiful that looks. Little bow for Snow's room. So I got two of them because I was thinking they would be really pretty behind each nightstand. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but let's go see if it works. Let's take a pause and see if this was a good purchase or if I'm gonna be returning them. So we're still in the process of decorating her room. We're gonna do some like beaded board on the bottom. We're gonna change the paint color and do a few other things. But I was thinking like this, is it too small? I need Travis, let me see. Trav, 
He's in he's such in a bad mood right now. He's like always in a bad mood, but like really in a bad mood right now. We just got a six thousand dollar bill from our bookkeeper that we were not expecting. We were expecting it to be three thousand and it's six thousand, so he's in charge of all that stuff and I was like, baby, you needed to be on top of that, like with communication, like that's your responsibility and he is throwing a big fit now and mad at me over it for some reason. So anyway, because I'm the one that found the bookkeeper. <laughs> so he's mad at me. <sighs> anyway, marriage problems. So I'm not the best with design. I think I'm getting better with practice, but it's not like a natural palette by any means. So like it would go down more, like way down, like closer to like her night. Uh, yeah, up a little bit and then closer to like the bed. Maybe up a little bit more. It's gonna be like a um Hi. Oh, hi. Do you like these mirrors over your nightstand so if we put like a little or do you think that they're too small? Um do you like them or not really? Um I just want it right there on mine. Okay, well I already have another mirror, like a full length mirror for you, but I was thinking for this, is this not cute? Do you like it or no? I don't like it over okay. there. Yeah, I don't think it looks good. I think that if anything, it needed to be more basic. What I had in my mind was very different. It looked very different, but that's okay. I think we'll end up returning it. What if we put, we can return, we could return one and then we could put this one here over your little thing there. What do you think? No? No? Okay. I have another mirror that's coming for you that's a big mirror and it's gonna go up right, right here. Okay. okay. It's being ordered, but these are really cute. They just don't really work in the space. All right, so now I got a big rug for our bedroom. Let's see if that's gonna work. Oh, actually, I also got this at TJ Maxx. I went to so many different places. <laughs> went to thrift store, we went to Home Goods, we went to TJ Maxx, we went to Target, we went to Walmart. So it was like a long day of a lot of shopping. Bless you. But I got this originally for our bathroom, so we'll see if this works or not in there. But it looks like this, and it's really soft and cozy, so we'll go put that in. Snow so brought this little eye mask. Snow, do you want to go put this in your room, your eye mask? By your bed? Yeah. Your outfit's super cute. So I got these clothes for, I guess I could use them in my room for our bed or on our new couch that's coming. They were $19.99 each. Don't usually buy pillows from the thrift store or secondhand, um, just for sanitary reasons. I mean, I'm sure you can, but I'd rather just buy them new and I really liked these, so. And then, very excited for this purchase. I've been wanting to buy this for so long, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it because, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of a lot of money. You can buy this. I realize I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I'm gonna use it all the time. And I'll show you how. You can use it for like cupcakes and baked goods. That's what I might plan on using it for is baked goods. But it's this little like cheese dome. And I thought it was so cool. Like look at how cool this is to be able to just have on the kitchen all the time. It was $19.99. Show you how I'm gonna use it. Okay, so we usually always just keep our bread in this Ziploc bag and I just think it looks oh, so good. I'm just gonna do it. Oh, that makes me so happy to see it like this. So I could have the bread in here and then also just like if we baked cupcakes or muffins or anything like home baked, we can keep it in this and it's like displayed nicely and pretty and it makes me happy. So that is the plan. So I got this. Let me show you what else I got. Oh my gosh, look at this mess. Okay, I also got this. This was $5.99. It's a little scooper. I'm gonna use it for the garden. Uh, he's showing you his popcorn chicken. Thank you. Okay, I also got this. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time. Also, this was $16.99 for this massive glass jar and I plan to keep it on the counter to store flour because I'm gonna be trying to bake all of our own bread going forward. So that is the plan for this. Again, we'll wash it. I got a bunch of really yummy 
really yummy flour. I guess I wouldn't say yummy, but like good quality flour. So I'm going to wash that and then put all of our flour in there. And then is that popcorn chicken yummy, baby? Oh my gosh, look at this mess. All right, let's see. Are you able to carry that bread for me? Do you mind, please? Let's see if this rug works. It's a big bathroom, so. Yeah, that's for there. Oh, that looks good. I didn't get a second one for Trav's side, so. Cause it's kind of like a really long, big bathroom. So maybe we'll do a rug there, but I like this and I like the colors and it's really soft and cozy. So that'll look nice. All right, let's see if this rug is going to work in here. Cross your fingers. First, and then wow, look how nice that looks. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't this so beautiful? It's gonna go under. So I was wanting it to be a little bit longer. Let me show you, hold on. So the rug is too small. It needed to be bigger, but what I'm thinking is still really like the rug so maybe we can use this in another area maybe the dining room area we could use this and although I mean it it really works really well for this room if it was a lot bigger do you want okay, do you want this off yeah. okay in the closet and pick up hands Mmm. So good. So would you like some toast and butter? Mm-hmm. My princess, do you want jam with it also or just butter and bread? Just butter. Just butter and bread. Okay, you got it. I love your new outfit that you got from the thrift store. Yeah. It's brand new. Yeah. You got that whole outfit for five dollars. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, Home baked bread. Cheers. Mm. Alright, <clears throat> we have a little snack break <laughs> during our unboxing. Mm. Let me show you the rest of what I got. Okay, quick little grocery haul. We got some lemons, some bananas, some of those little clementine things, two little chopsticks, some organic rest of potatoes. We're gonna use these to plant some coconut milk, sugar, broccoli, lettuce ham, butter, apple cider vinegar, some of these liquid IVs in tropical punch, which I don't think I've tried, and then strawberry lemonade. I've got some kimchi and some of this Starbucks coffee. We got this to make uh, ice cream with the kids. Got some calm gummies, some protein powder. Uh, let's see what else, oh, some all-purpose flour, got four bags of that. Okay guys, time to do our Amazon unboxing. I feel like every day I have an Amazon unboxing because we're trying to like, you know, get this house furnished. Although we're having some issues with deliveries now, a couple of the packages, like they said that they weren't able to deliver. And so that literally is an issue because then I have to drive like, you know, a really long way into town to go pick stuff up. And I don't have a truck, so a lot of the things that they're asking me to pick up, you would need a truck for. So there's like not even a way for me to pick that up unless I rent a U-Haul, so kind of a bummer. Anyway, I got these landscape staples because we are building and designing a big garden in the backyard. I'm so excited. So definitely stay tuned for that if you are into the gardening content because there's going to be a whole lot of that coming up. Basically, my whole channel is going to just be like gardening and like homesteading and preserving food. <laughs> like, and just like family DIY chill stuff. So I bought tallow for the first time. I'm really getting homesteady over here. Have you guys heard of the beef tallow that like everyone's using? It's supposed to be like an all natural 
skincare product that people like swear by and I've always used the same stuff on my face forever that's like really good I really like it but I wanted to try it out so this little jar uh, and I got it on Amazon it's linked in my storefront this whole jar was like I think $30 so it better be good but yeah so excited about that is this handwritten is that a handwritten note that they like send? If so, that's really cool. As a family owned business, it's tough competing against the big guys, but you can help leaving an honest review on Amazon helps. Okay, so I guess it's a, like a small, oh my God, like a small business. <laughs> but yeah, that's really, I really like the little handwritten note. I think that like adds a sweet touch. And if it is like homemade, then obviously I like it even more and it's worth the $30, obviously, you know? So I will keep you guys posted on what I think about this. Not sponsored, obviously, I bought this myself, so. Uh, I will let you know if beef tallow is any good. I know my vegans on here are probably dying, but that's all right. Okay, I'll save the best package for last because I'm really excited for that one. My kitchen aid mixer that I ordered brand new because my other one is at my Airbnb and we're leaving it there for the Airbnb. So I didn't have a kitchen aid mixer and I'm like doing all this baking. I need one. All right, we got some fertilizer. This is for our berries. We got blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, all the things. So we got a berry. This is a fertilizer, oh. honey. This is <laughs> storms like. This, you don't want to, there's not berries, this is fertilizer. Trust me, you don't want to eat this, it's just fertilizer. We also got blood meal fertilizer. This is to fertilize our plants. It's made of crushed up. <laughs> you want to show them what we got? Here. So we got a little garden mesh netting, like a little hoop netting and then this to put the hoops on to help the animals and all the birds and everything not eat all of our garden that we're building and then this these are the garden hoops so that's what's in here and then last but not least oh thank you that was so sweet honey you just gave me a flower what a little sweetie gentleman you are such a gentleman I'm not, I'm not a gentleman. You are a gentleman. You're my gentleman. No, Thank you. I'm two. You're three. No, I'm a storm. I know you're Storm, but Storm, how old are you? How many years old are you? I'm five. No, you're not five. Six is five. You're three. Oh, I'm excited for this. So. I've been searching high and low at the thrift store for overalls for gardening because all my stuff is in LA. Because I literally only pack stuff for like, that would fit in my motor home, like RV, my RV closet. And so I have two pairs of overalls I bought from like when I first started gardening at my old house. But anyway, I bought three pairs of gardening overalls. So I feel like I'm gonna be living in these. So I got these ones off Amazon and then yeah. I got two from Duluth. So I'm gonna try these on and see if they, if I like them or not. You want me to try these on? Um, I'm gonna try these on. Oh, you wanna try them on? Yes. Okay, how about I'm gonna try them on first and then you can try them on. I think those are a little big for you. Do you want some overalls, buddy, so you can garden with me? Um, I want some. You want my overalls? Mm, overalls. <laughs> I'm happy to get you some overalls if you want overalls, bud. Mommy's gonna get you some, okay? I'll get you and Sissy some cool overalls so we can all go and garden together in our fun little overalls. <laughs> little overall family. Ugh. All right, last package. This is the end of this video, guys. This is the best, save the best for last. Well, I'll open this and then I'll show you guys how these overalls fit and you can tell me if I should keep them or return them. Oh, you know man in my life. <laughs> Uh, you want to do a retake? They <laughs> <laughs> know I'm joking. All right, here she is. Classic KitchenAid mixer. Okay, my back is like. Sure. All right, let me try these on, and you guys can let me know if I should return or keep them. Okay, here we go. 
overall, let's see. Grab this in the store right behind the camera. So if you're hearing shenanigans. Can I have a big hug? Okay, guys. What do you think of these? The whole point is just to be like comfortable while I'm gardening. Can I use the scissors? Yep, we got all our, all our tools. Come here, bud. Okay, you guys tell me, what do you think? Do we like these? Do we not? And then I'll have like little running boots on. All right, we got some better lighting here. I mean, I think these are cute. For one, they're really comfortable and I like the color, wear like sweatshirts underneath, you know, it's like big enough to be able to do that. And they're like not too tight. I can bend down in it. All right, I think I'm gonna keep them. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like them? Do you not? Should I keep them or return them? Let me know. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow. Sending you all my love and all my positive energy. Mwah.